So we have an explosion, but we need a ground plane or a general environment, I'll just say. So I'm going to minimize that. Come out here and let's go to some frame so we can have some reference. See how slow it is now to load those in. It's got to load in those heavy caches, but then it's also got to do our, uh, I guess we use the preview thing here. But I was going to say, and then it does the scatter volume blurring too. So make a geometry node, call it render ground. Oh, so close. Render ground. Make it red. And inside here, I'm going to do our old friend grid. Let's make it really big. Who really cares? Just big enough that it's definitely big. And then I'm going to grab and I'm going to press S and 2 to go into point selection mode. And then grab those points, press T, and just drag them up. Go back to the camera. We can make, just make sure that we drag it up. Why is it not dragging anymore? Just drag it up, and let's make sure that the whole grid itself is uh, NURBS. I want it to be this, you know, nice rounded thing here. That's pretty much it for the ground, as you might imagine. Go over to, so we have our mantra node here. Let's split this off from the sim caching thing. And I'm going to say this is mantra explosion. And then let's copy and paste it and have a mantra ground. So mantra ground can go to mantra ground HQ, just somewhere separate. And this won't render the explosion, of course. It will render the ground. But we do want our explosion to cast shadows. So put forced phantom on the explosion. And that'll do it. So we won't render the explosion, but it will be seen by any of the shadow rays. And let's go to the material area and make a principled shader. This will be for the ground. And just like how we have pyro shader on here, the ground can get that that we just made. And we already know, because we've done a lot of ground planes at this point, we know that we want it to be very rough. We don't want it to be reflective. And that should do it. You might want it to be maybe less rough. Maybe you want it to reflect a little bit more. I'm going to say let's just start with very rough. Choose ground from our little thing here, and then we can kind of find the color that we want. The color, or you know, how bright the ground is, we're not gonna really give it a color, it's still gonna be some kind of gray. But the color itself will definitely be able to push around in the compositing stage. So right now, it's still doing the full res render, because it's gonna be fast enough anyway, this isn't that complicated. But uh, we'll be able to change this around later. I'm gonna say, let's make it pretty dark though. I mean, so this is as dark as it gets without setting it to full black. And that'll be nice. That'll be nice to have our explosion kind of pop off that background. And again, if we want it to be darker later, we'll make it darker later. But that's pretty much it. Um, it's still, because we copied our other mantra node, it's still doing our specific different lights, as you can see from the different sources. Now it's not emitting any light, so these flame scatters and CEs don't make any sense. So just for the sake of uh, good housekeeping, I'm gonna go to our ground node here under images. I'm just gonna go turn those off. So we can actually just disable them in case we want them later, but we never are gonna need the emission from the ground because the ground's never gonna have a flame shader applied to it. So just the direct lights should be fine.